Hey, I'm Rocky Kanaka, and this is my dog, Zoe, and today we're gonna answer a very important question. You may know that coconut oil is good for your dog, but what about actual coconut fruit? The, the fruit, the meat inside the coconut. Today, I'm gonna answer that question. We're gonna go over other ways to feed your dog coconut, and we're gonna cover just why coconut is so great for your dog. Okay. Let's get started. So I don't know about you, but if you've ever tried coconut oil with your dog, a lot of dogs love it. Zoe, she kind of likes it. My other dog, Flip, he'll go crazy for it. I mean, even if you have coconut lotion on, he'll lick the lotion right off of you. Full disclosure, I'm not wearing coconut lotion, but I would hope you wouldn't judge me if I was. Uh, and then one of my dogs, Snoop, he is a little more apprehensive about coconut. You have to give it to him in the right texture at the right time, and if you do, he really goes for it. So, like I said when I first started this video, you probably know that coconut oil is great for your dogs. You've probably heard that. It's been all the buzz lately, but you may not know why. And what about the actual fruit? Can you give the actual coconut fruit to your dog? You may have noticed that your dog likes some fruits and some vegetables, uh, but not, you know, dogs are just like us. They have things that they like and that they don't like. So, the very important question, can you give this actual coconut to your dog? Look, the whole thing, uh, yes, you can. I mean, if you've ever been on an island or in a tropical area, you've probably seen some dogs even chewing on a coconut. It would be no different than them chewing on a stick or, or a log. Some dogs are just gonna do that. Other dogs may not. And you know what? At the end of the day, you know your dog. It, it, could, be, it could be dangerous. These little fibers, they, they can choke on them. And the actual coconut can splinter. Just as you'd be mindful of your dog chewing a stick, you wanna be mindful of the entire coconut. But if they're good with it, if they just gnaw on it a little bit and toss it aside, no big deal. But most of the time, the important stuff, the meat on the inside is what you wanna to get to. And yes, you can absolutely feed that to your dog, and you should, because it provides even more nutrients than coconut oil and isn't as condensed in the saturated fat. Now, what's the difference? Uh, coconut oil, see how, <laughs> see how excited she's getting? <laughs> so. Coconut oil is, is usually in more of a solid state. It's really hot. I live in Los Angeles right now, so you can tell this is a bit of a liquid. The coconut oil is really great for dogs and it provides a, a couple different nutrients, uh, but it can be high in saturated fat. The actual coconut in its rawest form is gonna give them all of the, from electrolytes to lauric acid. We'll go over all those benefits in a minute, but first I say we crack into this coconut and see what she thinks. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever tried to open up a coconut, but it may not be as easy as you think. Now, I even grew up on an island in Hawaii, and it's still a challenge to open a coconut. Now, you can go break it over a rock, there are all kinds of different tricks, but I do have a surefire modern way of tools that you can just use at the house. Watch this. The three things you'll need, a drill, a hammer, and a dog water bowl. Now, some dogs like the taste of the actual coconut water inside the coconut, so you wanna make sure you use that. There are natural three points on a coconut that you can easily drill into. Take that and empty out the juice. And help. <laughs> she's my little helper. I think she knows she's gonna get some of the coconut. All right, that's almost empty. I need three holes because one hole actually lets the juice out, the other hole is the air hole, and the third hole is just for good measures. All right, once all the juice is out, then comes the fun part, the actual cracking of the coconut. So it's real simple, it just takes a little bit of time uh, and a little bit of accuracy, but you just take the hammer and you just work your way around the center of the coconut and it'll eventually crack just in half, it'll be perfect, watch. And there it is, perfectly cracked coconut. What? Who? All right, now, let's see what the dog, it smells good too, you can actually smell, oh look, we have a visitor. Come here, Hup. <laughs> what, did I, what did I tell you about flipping coconut? He loves it. You like that? Tastes good, huh? Tastes good. Yeah, Flip's a big fan of coconut. We're gonna pull out some of the actual meat and feed it to the dogs. Okay, so I've got a knife. You can soak the coconut. There are other different ways you can actually get the, work the meat out. It doesn't come out the easiest all the time. Okay. Look, check that out. That's the actual meat. Okay, Zozo, come here.
actually a piece? Come here. Come here. Come here. See, Snoop works. Snoop's not as stoked about coconut. Come here. All right, so Snoop's not taking it right now, but I think Zoe will have his piece. Up, up, come on. Good boy. He he'd do just about he'd do just about anything for some coconut. <laughs> Success. So the actual coconut, you can absolutely feed it to the dogs. They love it. The the coconut meat is really good for them, and you can give them a fair amount too. You know, you don't have to. You don't have to be extremely moderate with this. Of, of course, you, again, you know your dog, so don't give them too much. You don't want them to have a belly ache or the runs the next day. Okay, so that's the actual coconut, and in its rarest form, it's the absolute best, hands down. Now I'm gonna tell you why it's so good for them, and then I'm gonna give you some alternative options because goodness knows if you're anything like me, you don't wanna crack open a coconut every day. So you now know that the coconut fruit is good for dogs, but why is coconut good for dogs? Well, one, it has a substantial amount of lauric acid. This helps them with fighting off viruses, keeps the immune system strong, amongst doing other things. Coconut is great for clearing up skin conditions. It can clear up flea allergies and even itchy skin. Here's a little secret about coconut. It can help with bad breath. So puppy breath, or if your dog's just got some bad breath, a little coconut will go a long way. It's believed that coconut can even help dogs heal faster. So if they have a, an open wound, a cut, or a bruise, coconut can come in handy. Coconut contains albumin, which helps in the formation of red blood cells. One question that does come up a lot with coconut is that it's high in saturated fat. Yes, but it's a different kind of saturated fat. And when you balance out all the electrolytes and nutrition that coconut has, it far exceeds that saturated fat. Just use in moderation. Now, how can you use coconut oil? Well, there are a couple different ways. One, if it's in its liquid state, because it's really hot outside, like it is in Los Angeles right now, then you can pour it over some of their food. My dog loves coconut on their food. Or if it's in more of a solid state, you can take a spoonful of it and let them lick it off the spoon. They absolutely love it. If you want to take the time to crack a coconut, this is a great way to do it. And this is the way I'd recommend if they have bad breath, because then not only are they eating coconut, but they're chewing it and that abrasion helps with keeping their teeth clean. Good news is there are other easier ways to get your dog coconut without the challenge. Now I'm gonna put the links down below to some of the products that I get from my dogs that I would, I would definitely recommend. Go check it out. Uh, but here are just some different examples. Coconut flakes. I buy these all the time. They're easy to keep in a treat bag. You can give your dog a coconut flake as a treat and it's it's a really good low calorie treat. So I would highly recommend coconut flakes. Just make sure you're getting natural ones. You don't want to add any extra additives in there that your dog doesn't need like sugar. Here's another great example, toasted coconut flakes. Now this has been known to reduce the tr nutritional level just a little bit, but it increases the taste. So my dog Snoop, who didn't eat the raw coconut, will definitely go after these. Another great item to give them is actual coconut water. When it's hot in the summertime, I like to put a little ice cubes in their water, add a little coconut water in there, and it's a nice refreshing treat. Another one you can do is actual coconut milk. It's dense and thicker, and it's got even more coconut nutrients in there. Okay, one helpful tip, and you'll thank me for this later. If you are gonna start on coconut oil and you haven't done this with your dog, the general rule of thumb is one teaspoon for every 10 pounds of dog, or one tablespoon for every 30 pounds of dog. Just be careful if you overdo it the next day, don't say I didn't warn you. Okay guys, thanks for watching this. Make sure you comment down below. Let me know if you're giving your dog coconut and if you have any other ideas that you can share with, with this group, let us know. We'd love to see the comments. As always, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like if you wanna see more videos like this and share this with everyone because I truly believe that we should feed our dogs like their family because I don't know about you, but I want them around much longer. Did you get the, when I opened the coconut with the lime, you know, who put that in there? The lime in the coconut. I was, so, I was so proud of myself for that one. I hope I hope you got that one. I enjoyed it. Okay, I'm gonna go give the dogs all this coconut. They're gonna be super excited. See you straight. Put the lime in the coconut, you drink a bowl up. Put the lime in the coconut, you drink a bowl up. You put the lime in the coconut, you drink a bowl up. You put the lime in the coconut, you call the doctor. Woke him up, said, Doctor, is there nothing I could take? I said, Doctor.